galaxy was not the same after the formation of our solar system. In fact, our solar system would not be present today unless, six billion years ago, something changed the whole structure of our Milky Way galaxy. This journey to the past will uncover major events that were destructive in magnitude. Events that we can't fathom yet, but were necessary to what you see now in the night sky. Otherwise, would there be anyone to observe this lonely magnificence? The journey starts six billion years ago. Our Milky Way galaxy was moving through the deep cosmos with not as many stars as we currently have. Our sun did not even exist at that time. The gas clouds were not dense enough, loosely spread among the spiral arms. But over the course of its journey, the Milky Way had an encounter. A small galaxy, once a distant neighbor, but now seemingly coming closer. The Milky Way galaxy's strong gravitational forces started to take hold, slowly tearing this small galaxy apart, turning it into an irregular oval shape with its partial body getting streamlined, starting to penetrate the Milky Way galaxy. The stars and gas clouds began reorienting, sending ripples through the entire galaxy, causing a sudden densification of gas clouds and initiating a whole new birth of stars across the Milky Way. The tidal force did not fully tear apart the small galaxy. Most of its remains still held together after passing through the thick disk, but that's not where it ends. As it passed through the other side, though it acquired some velocity, the Milky Way's tidal forces started to pull it back. Therefore, four billion years later, the small galaxy came back to rejoin, again losing its stellar material to the Milky Way. It did not stop there. Though most of the stellar material was getting removed and merging with the Milky Way, it joined back again one billion years later. The fact is that this small galaxy has not fully merged yet, but it did tear up its structure into a long, streamlined body, completely into two or more continuous loops like a ring. Interestingly, its axis is perpendicular to the Milky Way galaxy. This small galaxy is none other than the Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidal Galaxy. That's quite a mouthful name, and it reveals everything we need to know. It is a dwarf galaxy, meaning it has only a few billion stars rather than 100 billion. And spheroidal refers to the long, streamlined shape of the galaxy. Fun fact, their luminosity, that is, their brightness, is very low, making them hard to detect. Just like this image, you would have to look hard to distinguish its structure from the rest of the background. And now you know the reason why you haven't seen the streamlined structure in the night sky straight above the thick spiral arm of our Milky Way galaxy. At the beginning, I said that our solar system would not be present today unless this happened. How did this merging event cause the formation of our solar system, and when did it happen? We know that our solar system is 4.6 billion years old. This means that the first wave of this merger caused a sudden densification of the gas clouds across the Milky Way galaxy resulting in a huge number of stars being born. Like our solar system, many more stars like the sun of the same age were born across the Milky Way galaxy. The huge birth of stars did not end there. The second and other waves of this merger, some billion years later, produced the exact process leading to a whole new collection of stars. What's interesting is that, according to our current research on our Milky Way galaxy using various kinds of telescopic data, the spiral arm where we inhabit before the time of this merger was loosely spread. This means that the circumstellar gas clouds and dust were spread too loosely, which implies there would never have been a solar system like ours in the first place if this Sagittarius galaxy hadn't decided to merge. We wouldn't be existing. No plants, no animals, no dinosaurs, no Earth, no planets, and nothing like our sun existing. We wouldn't be able to, to see, to smell, to hear ourselves, to know we are here and there, to have this experience at all, listening to this video, knowing that we got lucky or that it was a designated plan to happen 100% by our creator. Okay then, there is another question that we haven't got the full picture of yet. Is the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy the only one right now merging or are there others somewhere? After all, we can only see what we see in the night sky, a small part of one of the spiral arms of our Milky Way galaxy. You know, like Jupiter having 95 moons or 95 satellites, our Milky Way galaxy has 61 satellite galaxies, small, tiny-sized galaxies orbiting around. 
And recently, we found a total of six satellite galaxies currently merging with the Milky Way. Well, if our kind were still alive some billion years later, they would have a much different night sky than we currently have. Thanks for listening to this amazing story of our Milky Way. I would like to let you know that you can create and generate these amazing images and videos with the help of Leonardo AI. You wouldn't want to miss their amazing features. Just create a free account, get daily credits, and you're good to go. Join the link down in the description. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Try new space. Peace.